this is the humble sandbag, used since the 18th century in floodproofing the world over, and still in widespread use today. But as with anything centuries old, there's room for improvement. Let's take a closer look at the process. This is one of the workers at the sandbag depot. The council have just phoned because there's a flood 40 miles down the road. The worker and his team now have to fill sandbags, load them onto trucks and deploy them to the flood site. The fact that the bags have to be filled individually with sand, as you can see, takes time and makes them very heavy and difficult for the worker to move. The average sandbag weighs a whopping 15 to 20 kilos, so as you can imagine, getting them from the sandbag depot to the flood site is an arduous and time-consuming process, especially considering that time is of the essence. And that's not all. When the team finally get there, unload the sandbags and get them into place, they don't actually form that effective a barrier against the runoff rainwater or stormwaters. When sandbags are placed one on top of the other, they are usually so uneven that they do not stack properly. And since sand does not absorb water, it will pass right through, leaving all the toxins and bacteria floodwaters bring. This makes the flood barrier quite inefficient. Now the waters have receded, but the sandbags are full of all sorts of rubbish. Dirty water which may be carrying infections and sewage. They can't be reused or disposed of in an eco-friendly way. So along comes the worker from the emergency response depot with his clear-up team and their trucks again, all biohazard suited up, ready to take the sandbags to landfill. Once again, this takes time and people and money, which not only proves costly to councils, but also to the environment, which isn't good for anyone involved. But there is an alternative. This is the hydrosack. The hydrosack is less than 10% of the weight of a sandbag before it comes into contact with water, and they can be easily stored in bulk until they're needed. Hydrosacks and hydrosnakes are made of a special non-woven hydrophilic fabric and filled with a super absorbent polymer, which expand when they come into contact with water. Each hydrosack can take a flood water depth of five centimeters each, and a flood water length of 45 centimeters. They swell up to full size in just three minutes and they can be hydrated in bulk. They can absorb up to 20 liters of water before being completely hydrated and they retain their weight for up to three months. Here they are in action with their sister product, the Hydrosnake, slotting on top of each other. The Hydrosack is even designed with handles for heavy handling. And their unique structure with three sections per sack prevents the contents from moving from side to side, forming a complete barrier to flood water. The Hydrosnake, seen here, is designed as an elongated barrier to retain or divert water over stretched areas of ground. These can be used as flood barriers by utilities companies, emergency response teams, in sports arenas, and anywhere where there is a threat of excess water. Now back to our flood scenario. Once the floodwaters have receded, you haven't got the same problems as with the dirty old sandbag. Sewage and toxins aren't absorbed by the hydrosac polymer, which is also degradable. So the sacks can simply be slit open and the contents emptied onto the soil with no negative environmental effects. Alternatively, they can be taken to landfill, incinerated or recycled. He's convinced, but what about you? Here are some real live people who've been using them they're absolutely fantastic. Synthetic sandbags work very effectively. First thing is they're light and easy to use. Um, first of all, they deploy quite quickly. They're much more user friendly. Uh, one of the things we do like about them is that they have a very long shelf life. So one can store them, provided they're kept in the original plastic bag, for quite a number of years. Hydrosac is much easier to handle. Anybody can handle it and put it in position. It can be hydrated with water very easily. And not only does it protect the house in the front of a door from water getting in, it can also absorb water for any leaking getting past, past a door. And the beauty of synthetic sandbags is, of course, they don't let water through. So they act as a very, very effective barrier, quick and simple to use. And of course, if you get the coloured variety, quite attractive too. Well, we have over 100 products that we can supply to protect people's property, both domestic and commercial property from floods. From flood barriers to flood doors, air brick covers, we've got a, a very wide range. 
And yes, we used to supply sandbags. I can't think of any reason why I would supply anyone with a sandbag anymore with it when we've got a hydrosack, which just beats it on every count. So as you can see, the benefits of the hydrosack far outweigh those of the sandbag. They weigh less than sandbags and can be easily stored until needed. Unlike sandbags, you fill up a hydrosack on site. They absorb up to 20 litres of water in under three minutes. The hydrosack retains its weight for up to three months. Designed with usability in mind, the handles allow quick and safe carrying of the sacks when hydrated. The hydrosack is eco-friendly. It doesn't absorb sewage water and the degradable polymer can be safely deposited into the soil. As you can see, the benefits in terms of the environment, not to mention the cost savings, speak for themselves.